Alola Dapper Friends. This is Dapper Drabby, and welcome to another PTC Joe video. Um, like I said, I missed one last week, so we're gonna do two of them this week. We're gonna leave, we're gonna pick up right where we left off on the last one, which was opening up some Crimson Invasion packs. We have 13 more Crimson Invasion packs. We're trying to find some goodies to play with. Um, but let's see what we open up. We ended up uh, trading our Celesteela GX, which we weren't really using, for 21 Crimson Invasion packs. So that was pretty exciting, actually. Um, look, we got a Marowak. Very cool. And so we're hoping we're hoping we can complete some sets, pull a few doubles other than Sil Valley, so that we can start building some decks. That's a very nice card. A Gladion Full Art. Very, very cool. So we got a Hollow, a Full Art out of 13 packs so far so let's see what else comes in these 13 packs we got a registeel regular rare a hollow and a gladion so far let's see if we can get a better pull rate than 2 and 10 you know which is i think what we got on the last opening was 2 and 10 which is craziness and we get an a lowland right shoes. anybody want a lowland right shoes i have like what is it now? Five, six, seven, eight. I have eight Alolan Raichu. So if anybody wants an Alolan Raichu, hit me up. I can trade you an Alolan Raichu. Um, but give me at least something good in return. Another Hollow, I guess. And the rare is a Primeape. Wow, all this stuff sucks. Come on, build a better pack. Build a better pack. It is a Camerupt. All these regular rares. This doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Wow, is this is everybody getting this gypped? Reverse rare, Star Raptor. I think I have four of those now, and a Registeel. I have like four of those now, but I've not seen like any GXs. Gladian reverse with a Star Raptor regular rare. Two packs left. Pumpkaboo, Bunnelby, Devoured Feel, Hakomo, and a Full Art Olivia. I think that's the second one of those I have. Last pack, and maybe we'll open up some Burning Shadows to get something good here. And the rare is a Reggie Rock, which can help our Reggie Steel. So let's open up our three Burning Shadows, just so I feel better. I don't know, maybe we'll get something, maybe we won't. Nope, we won't. Oh, we got a Reverse Rare, which is a Malamar with a Malamar, right? Nope, Gyarados. Now, see, I didn't even see any Gyarados GXs, but we got a Gyarados Hollow. Rotom Dex and a Secret Rare Escape Rope. Apparently, I needed a few more packs of Crimson Invasion to get something good. A Secret Rare Escape Rope, super nice. So, we will play a budget list today, but we're going to be playing with those uh, those Secret Rare items because, you know, why not? Um... We will go ahead and... I almost want to start new. But maybe I should copy a deck that's pretty... Pretty well received. So what I like to do when I'm thinking uh, budget decks is... I think of the, the, the most known budget deck of the least while I've been playing. Which is that Gyarados deck. Um from Expanded, which I guess I could just look up Expanded, but... Let me just look up Retaliate, and I believe this deck here is the Full Retaliation deck. I think that's the standard Full Retaliation. Oh, that's my updated, actually. My updated Expanded Full Retaliation deck. So, when I think budget, I try to think of this deck here. And then I adjust it, so we don't want uh, Shaman in there because it's expanded. So we go with an Orangaroo, uh, Tapu Leles are way too expensive, so we go with um, which in this deck I think it was only uh, if you have to use it, use it. So we'll take that out. Actually, I'll just throw in another Rengaru. 
and I don't know how I squeezed in a Drampa in this list. Or six energy cards, but I did. So because we have it, we are going to play that escape rope. That shiny new one. Um, I don't think we have a special blower. No, we don't. Um, we do have a special stretcher, though. In fact, I could just filter this by standard secret rare apply. And that shows my secret rare items, which is escape rope, stretcher, scoop up, and rare candy. One of each. Um, does this play scoop up? It does not. But I'm going to make it play scoop up. So, there we go. So this is budget, but with a few things that are not budget, I guess. So, what do we want to play Pokemon-wise? If we look at the new Crimson Invasion, we kind of want to play a rare. I would just totally go with the Lolan Executor, but that's not really going to work. Now, this is an interesting idea, is a Selgor with Venusaur because he'll be able to attack with one energy with speed attack and does 70 damage for one energy. Which is kind of nice, but it's still not as strong as a Grabomitable. Although you can heal all damage, but with 90 HP it's not really going to work very well. We could play Carablast as Cavalier, but also just not very good. We get one Go-Goat. We get three Alolan Marowax, now that's fun. Uh, flip two coins to this attack to 70 damage for each hedge. Either of them is hedge, your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. Um, then what's the point of flipping? Oh. Yeah, it's kind of scary of an attack because you can literally hit zero on it. So let's see what else we have. Camera up, which does 120 damage. The escaping Starmie. Big old mammal swine. Um, core fish. Which actually, this looks. I want to do that just for no reason. Now, is Crawdont do anything good? No, it doesn't. Discard two energies from your opponent's active Pokemon. Now, that can hurt, but the damage output on it is super low. Like, everything they put in this set is just, like, super, super low HP, super low damage output. I mean, Lolan Raichu Psychic could be good here. Does uh, it kind of does a little bit more damage than um, Espeon's Psychic, but it does not have the confusion, which is what kind of holds it back here. Um, we always have Miss Magius Chaos Wheel with the Dark Arts. Does 20 damage for each card in your opponent's hand, but again, it's just not strong enough, I would say. We have Gore Guys, but we've done that deck. We have a couple Salazzles, now that can be fun. Um, 16 Salandits, that's ridiculous that I've pulled that many Salandits. We got two Regirocks, which can boost the damage of Registeel. So maybe that's the, that's the option I think we should probably go with here, is uh, just boosting the damage of Registeel as much as possible. With uh, Reggie Rock and um, and Delmise, because we do have five Reggie Seals, so I mean that's not a bad option. It's not a great option though, and you're only going to be able to boost it about four because you still need your draw supporter. Unfortunately, Komoto is not really going to work very well. And I don't like Star Raptor a lot. Diggersby is interesting. But not strong enough. Um, honestly, I think we should do like a Silvalli list. 
but we only have three of each. Oh, there's our fourth, okay. We still only have three type nulls, though. So there you see some of our uh, promos that's come out recently. I think this is going to work fine, even though we're playing less type nulls than Sil Valleys, because um, because we have four rescue stretchers in this deck, we're going to be able to pull uh, type null and Sil Valley out a lot from the discard pile. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of that uh, big um, Drampa. I don't want this to look too much like that other deck, though. That's a problem. Okay, let me go back to this. So, see, this is what I have, is I was able to get some full art versions of Gyarados, Nihilego, Guzzlord, Alolan Executor, and Kartana. Which is all pretty cool. I will play one Kartana in this list. Let's get rid of the artillery line. I think we should actually go with whatever Actually let's go full on fighting with this and go with Carbink. Okay, we have one break, so we'll use that. And I think the Energy Keeper one is probably the best one at this point. Which means we'll get rid of these, and we'll probably go with uh, Strong Energy. Sorry for, like, the deck building on top of deck building. Um, just seems to me like this might be the best option. And then I can kind of cut down some cards, whatever works out. So I like kind of like this Pokemon option here. Uh, there's four dive balls in this list, so let's go ahead and take those out and put um, nest balls, I would say. Special charge, a town map. Uh, we can take out the uh, that stadium, the Team Magma's base here, and we can put in something that is going to help us. Yes, yeah, so we got two Olivias and a Gladion now, which is kind of cool. So I will throw in one Gladion, so we can kind of see where that goes. Let's take a look at stadiums here. What is standard? Po Town, Mount Lanakila. I actually like Mount Lanakila in this deck because it really throws off your opponent that is looking to escape through. Uh, through manual retreating, and they don't expect their basics to not have free retreat. So it looks like we have three extra cards in here, so we'll just get rid of those VS Seekers. We'll take out a Trainer's Mail and put a Luzamine in. We have two more spots now, um, which we'll probably just fill out with N. Take out Teammates. Since it's illegal and Lysander, 
and we'll go ahead and put in Guzma. And then we got Choice Band and Floatstone, um, both which are useful, I would say. But I think because we're trying to go for that fighting type, we're going to have to max out on those fighting memories. And we'll probably throw in one psychic memory. Uh, we don't really need town map too much, do we? Let's get rid of that. And... Skylight is still good. So we'll go ahead and go for these memories. Like I said, we'll max out on fighting memory since we are playing as a fighting type. And we'll throw in one psychic memory for those type matchups that are going to help with that. So I think that's the deck, guys. If you guys want to check it out. You know, we have two Orangaroos, uh, a full lineup of Type Null, Sil Valley, four Sil Valleys. Three type Nulls, a Carbink and Carbink Break, Cortana for that special energy kill. Um, actually, we should put one one rainbow in here so that we can use it on either anything or the Cortana. So we got an Escape Rope, uh, Field Blower, four Nest Ball, four Puzzle of Time, four Rescue Stretcher, a Special Charge, a Super Scoop Up. For Ultra Ball, Mount Lanakila, a Gladion, two Guzmas, a Luzamine, uh, 3N, four Sycamore, two Skyla, four Fighting Memory, one Psychic Memory, four Strong, and four Double Colorless. And actually, I probably should just take out the Super Scoop up now that I think about it. The Super Scoop up or the Escape Rope, maybe? No, we'll leave him in there. Um, we'll take out one of these and throw in a rainbow. So there you have it. It's not Gyarados Full Retaliation anymore. It is Silvalli, um Turbo something? Turbo Drive. So it is Sil. If it'll type here. So Valley Turbo Driving Fighting Turbo Driving. Okay, we'll leave it at that. We'll give it a Fighting Coin and a uh, Not Gyarados box. We'll give it like a Mars Shadow box with a. Uh, I'm gonna just say a standard textured. Uh, Pokeball sleeve, I think that's here somewhere. There it is, right there. Textured Pokeball. So let's go try out Silvalli Turbo Drive. And this might be more of a test deck, um, to be perfectly honest. But uh, we're going to see what Silvalli Turbo Driving can do. I believe Silvalli has. Um, you can kind of make any deck off of that. Uh, That idea of uh, Savali medals. <laughs> Most gutsy punts. What's that, I wonder? Um, anyways, what I was saying was, here's that Savali drive, turbo drive. So, with Savali, I would say you can make almost any kind of deck off of that metal box deck that you see Savali in. Um, you just gotta kind of find cards that fill the same role. So, with Savali, it can be a fighting type, so... What uh, what I found that can fill the same role as Registeel is Carbink, Carbink Break exactly, um, which takes two, which takes an extra deck space, so you kind of gotta adjust for that. But um, it also takes less bench space because you're not running you know two two uh, Registeels, you're running a Carbink and a Carbink Break. But here we are. We're gonna start with an Orangaroo. Apparently we should also play uh, that um, Talon Flame in this list. Now we may get destroyed in this, we may not. 
Um, but Savali is going to allow all of our basics at least to have free retreat. And we're kind of... Start with a terrible hand here. So there, we throw out the Rangaroo. I don't know if we can get our hand down to less than three cards, though. Yeah, I don't think it's possible. Hopefully we top deck out of this, because we're kind of stuck at this point. We're playing a Mewtwo. Random. So, one thing I already immediately know I forgot was a Bridget. So that we can get our Pokemon out quicker. Although we did put four Nest Balls in here. So, I think that's what I was thinking. So we do have a Mount Lanakila. And I'm going to throw that on the Rangaroo and just go ahead and Guzma to disrupt my opponent uh, and their Glissopod play. So that Glissopod will only hit for 30 this next turn. It will not hit for 120. And that Glissopod has a massive 3 retreat cost right now. So I think they're still going to go for that Glissopod play. They're going to see if they can switch out so that they can... Um... Yeah, that Mewtwo has a massive 3 retreat cost as well right now. So that they can use that Glissopod's ability. Oh, they're actually going for the Tapu Lele. Probably going to Bridget this turn. And we see the Field Blower to get rid of Mount Lanakila. They do not like that retreat, even though the Float Stone just kind of gets rid of it altogether. So we got both of our stadiums first thing in the in this day in this game, and then two Sil Valleys that we can't do anything with. I forget what this new Sil Valley does. Gear stand, search your deck for an item card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Now that can be any item card. I think it's meant to be able to search out for those uh, memory drives. And they know I have a stuck hand. They throw out another uh, Wimpod here with another Grass Energy. Another Wimpod, and they evolves the main one, the first one, into a Glissopod with the armor ability, and then Enhanced Hammers my double colorist energy. We get the Fighting Memory, which does us no good. But at least I can get down to three cards this turn, kind of by burning a few things. So we're going to go ahead and instruct here. Which pulls us a type null, finally. And we'll end our turn there. Now the question is what to play on this first one. I think I might go ahead and use this one with gear stand to be able to pull out some item cards that I need. Whether it's nest balls or whatever else to be able to get start getting set up here, because I'm really far behind so far. But that's only if I draw an energy, anyways. They are gonna switch right into that glissopod and go ahead and hit me for big numbers and knock out this Rangaroo. I would say this deck is pretty much already lost without that by just drawing terribly first off. Kind of get no supporters, um, no Ultra Balls. They run eight balls in this deck and got zero of them. Two of the evolutions. And uh, the Rangaroo as a basic. And that was it. And now we can't even use Rangaroo's basic ability. And we get an Ultra Ball. So, best thing I can do is Ultra Ball away both Savalis. Grab an Rangaroo. And hope it draws me something. I 
Go ahead and instruct here. Get a DCE. Get a Skyla. Which, what's Skyla gonna grab us? Nest Ball, Puzzle, Time, Rescue Stretcher. Yeah, I guess we can grab Rescue Stretcher here. To pull back up one of the uh, Silver Valleys. Or an Orangaroo. Actually, I could pull up Orangaroo and search more. Otherwise, I'd go for Gear Scan. But we'll go ahead and pull up Orangaroo here. Instruct one more time. Get a Fighting Memory and an Ultra Ball. Fighting Memory doesn't do us much good right now. But we can definitely throw it away next turn. Because it doesn't change the type of type null, no, it only changes the type of Sil Valley, right? Yes, it only changes the type of Sil Valley. So all we can do here is Armor Press. Story less damage from attacks. So that we can survive next turn. That's about all we can do. Next turn we can rescue stretcher again, pull everything back into the deck so that we can draw it later on. I think with armor press we should be able to survive this turn. Oh, but they're gonna take that Glissopod back up to their hand and play it down on the other one. They play again Mega in this list. I guess for the free attack and the free retreat. And they're gonna float stone into the Glissopod. Ooh, they must have missed something, but they think they know that they can't knock me out now. They're like, wait, I can't knock you out. Yeah, you can't. So we get the rescue stretcher. That's kind of nice. Off of a top deck. The question is, do we want the GX or the regular? And I think we're going to go for the GX here. And kind of claw our way back into this one. question is, do we Skyla first, or do we Instruct first? Because what I, what I would want to do is Skyla for an Energy. Which I don't think is possible, so we're going to Instruct here. We get a Luzamine. Which I could pull back a Guzma and a Skyla with. Guzma would be worth it, a Skyla would probably be worth it too. Um, we're gonna go ahead and Ultra Ball here. Pull out another... Actually, she'll play Matt. They don't have any special energy, so... Cortana doesn't really help us here. I would say we can pull out a Type Null. But also, question how many energies we have. We have two Fighting Energies and a Rainbow, so we have a lot of stuff prized. A lot of things prized in this matchup here. And it's going to be very hard to find those cards. Hmm. Problem with strong energy as well is that it's not doesn't work with turbo. I don't know why I decided to play all rainbows. Um, strong energy, I guess, to try to boost it up. Question is, Carbink or Type Null? I'm guessing we're going to have to play Carbink. And this is really bad. I'm really overextending here. Just to try to get something going. And it's it's surprisingly worked out for me so far. But this is not the way you should really play this. So we got a couple nest balls, finally. Um, so we can start filling out our bench here with type nulls. So 
let's go ahead and actually here is a great moment to go ahead and rebel GX and take out this Galissapod that is the biggest threat so somehow we took we didn't take the first prize we took the second and third prize of this game kind of setting our opponent back a little bit I would say because I don't know if they have another Glissopod GX in their hand so being able to take out that first Glissopod uh, means where they're gonna really gonna have to find a double colorless to make sure this Glissopod can take out Sil Valley here but we'll have to see um, if I can't I think in this next turn I'm probably going to rescue Stretcher, the Savali type null, and other Savali piece here. And put the strong energy onto Carbink. And then of course we'll Ultra Ball. So I did get the Glissapod and Wimpod back. They're going to just throw it back into the deck though. And they actually are going to attack for free here. Very nice. Very nice, I must say. Um, to be able to get that free attack off. Uh, I don't really have much I can do here. Another strong energy. So, actually what I think I have to do here is... I think I have to grab just uh, the GX from the discard there, throw it onto one of these, throw the fighting memory, ultra ball away. I would say a strong in the puzzle, but I don't really want a strong in puzzle. But I think I'm going to have to... The puzzle time for sure. The question is whether or not it should be the Guzma or the uh, Fighting Energy. Um, I guess since I'm putting a Fighting Energy back on, it should be the Fighting Energy. To grab that Carving Brick. Now here I can attack whatever I want. Uh, what's the best one to attack? I think it's best to trap the Lele up here. No, let's let's trap the uh, let's trap the Mewtwo up here. Go ahead and instruct to get a puzzle of time and an Ultra Ball. Is there anything else we want to look for right now? Sure. This is a terrible way to play this. We'll go ahead and set up another Sil Valley. And instruct once more. And we could knock out something. Or we could knock out a special energy if we run into it. I don't see anything, so we're going to go ahead and Diamond Gift. And I believe it's going to let us attach the Fighting and the Double Colors to the Sil Valley. So all they have to take out is everything I have energy on. I still have to take out probably another Glissopod GX and the Tapu Lele, which is a little more difficult. So our, my opponent's going to be searching probably for a Glissopod and a Float Stone so that they can come up and hit this carving for 120 damage and leave that big Glissopod in the active. 
knowing that I can't really knock it out. There's a glissopod, but do they have the float stun to get around Mount Lanakila? Because if they have the DCE... Ah, nice, they have the Ace of Rolla to get rid of their uh, Mewtwo in the active, which allows Galissapod to come out and take out Carbink. You know, everybody thought that Guzmo was going to be the major Galissapod play, but it's always been more of an Ace of Rolla. So we're kind of stuck here. He has this Galissapod set up now. Has the other one in the background that can also hit huge. Uh, so the question is... No, he'd just put that one out, wouldn't he? And then bring up Lele to... Okay, so... Not much I can do here. Uh, looks like the best bet is literally to end my opponent down to two cards. And we'll instruct for one. This is a nest ball. We'll go ahead and nest ball. There's nothing to nest ball for. We will instruct for one. Puzzle of time. Let's see what we're drawing. Which is not the right way to use puzzle of time, by the way. Uh, nest ball is useless. We'll go ahead and grab that sycamore, though. Which is going to go through the last of our deck here. Let's go ahead and Turbo Drive, which we have no basic energy, so this doesn't really help us too much. It's kind of a misplay on our part to only play special energy with a Pokemon that that uh, moves special that moves basic energy from the discard pile to the bench. Uh, we only played special energy, which is kind of not the smartest on our part. But uh, I don't believe they can one shot us here. I believe that Tapu Lele can do some serious damage, though. So an N down to four cards for us. I'm okay with that. Definitely fine with that. We did not take that prize yet. We get a Super Scoop Up. Now, the Super Scoop Up could save us here. Um, if he ends up damaging Sil Valley. Ooh, there goes a Special Energy. Question is, which one? Off the active. Okay. So as long as they hit us here... And how many special energies is that into the discard? So we still have two more DCEs somewhere. And one more strong energy somewhere. So they do 30 damage to us there. We get the rainbow energy. Um, I guess the question here is will the super scoop up work? It works. So let's go ahead and grab Sil Valley. And move the other Sil Valley up here. We'll throw that rainbow energy on him, which does us, like, no good. Um, and I will keep a hold of everything else, because we can take out this knockout here. Which, this is just showing the power of Sil Valley. Um, but the fact that this is an even matchup so far makes no sense. Uh, Glissopod should kind of run all over the stack. Um, but this is the power of Silvalli when you can get it set up. Uh, but I had a super slow start. And I am almost out of cards. So it's kind of surprising that it's coming down to this. It's really whether or not this uh, my opponent can... Get the uh, the double shot onto this Sil Valley. What I need is a Guzma, actually. Oh, we have the shiny Sil Valley up there right now. And we do have a Rescue Stretcher, so what can Rescue Stretcher get us back? A Sil Valley, a Carbink, and a Carbink Break is probably the best option. Or a type null, not Savali, but a type null, a carbink, and a carbink break is the best choice for this rescue stretcher here. Eh, 
and down to two cards. That's okay, it stops me from decking out. But I don't think they found what they were looking for. However, we do find something we're looking for. Ooh. It's not okay. Sycamore with two double colors. That's just mean. So we do, st we do still get that uh, rescue stretcher here. We're going to get the carbink and that type null back. We're going to go ahead and instruct one more time here. We do get that Silver Valley. Now we have a fighting type Silver Valley again. And I'm very... I don't want to throw away this double colorless energy. Um... Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're going to have to two-shot this Galissapod here. So we're going to hit him here, and he's going to retreat. And hope he can hit us back. He's just going to retreat out of stuff. I'm sure he's going to go into the end Mega next. He doesn't have enough energy for it, actually. He might go into the Tapu Lele if he has the energy. Otherwise, we're just we're waiting for him to get a big uh, draw supporter to be able to get through the deck and start and get that last Galissapod. To get a Bridget, which doesn't help them that much. That would have actually kept that, so you could have retreated into Yen Mega. So they're playing. They threw out uh, Mewtwo without realizing that because of the the tool card I have, that Mewtwo is weak to this Sil Valley. We get the Kartana, which does us no good right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and turbo drive the crap out of this uh, Mewtwo here. Because now they're gonna realize that they did they, they threw up Mewtwo with that weakness to Psychic. I had the Psychic type memory onto Sil Valley. So we're just going to kind of whittle away our opponent. Um, if they would have kept that Bridget, they could have attacked with the end Mega right now. But uh, even that would have been just not quite enough damage. So there you go. Just the straight power of Sil Valley. I don't know how that worked. But it worked because they weren't able to take off the tools at the right moment. Um, so you got to keep a hold of your field blowers. So actually, I will end it off here, I guess. They did have a pretty standard Glissopod list. This is kind of the weird thing in this list. Most people will not play Yen Mega with this list. They'll play that draw supporter instead, which is what really felt like my opponent was missing was the draw supporter in the deck. And they actually play a lot of grass energy too. So... Not the best, but there you guys go. So Valley GX coming out on top against Galissapod GX somehow. Um, but thank you guys so much for coming out. Um, I'm I'm thinking this was still kind of a... Uh, a uh, oh, we got Raikou GX now. I'm still thinking this was kind of a budget build. I kind of used the Rangaroos. I didn't use any Tapu Leles, any Zoroarks. Any of the big expensive cards. Break is going to be kind of hard. Obviously, I'm not expecting you to find a, a secret rare Kartana to use in this deck. Um, this still valleys from the uh, from the um, GX box. This this still valleys from the um, figure collection box, which I didn't really use any of them. Uh, super scoop ups are pretty easy to find. Rescue stretchers are easy to find. Escape ups are super easy to find. Didn't use Gladion. Um, so guys, feel free to copy this list. It'll be down in the description, and you guys can make it your own. Um, but for now, thank you so much for coming out. This has been Dapper Drabby, and I'll bid you guys a Lola. I hope to see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.